you are looking for a fast and reliable way to restore your website and trust me you've come to the right place we've helped over a million sites over the last 10 years do the exact same things restoring a wordpress website if you don't have backups is a very tricky thing to do there is no surefire way of doing this i'm going to show you two of the best ways to do this and in all likelihood you might be able to gain at max 70% of your website but 70% is better than 0% so let's get into these two methods to use google's cached content to restore your website head over to this url and then replace this part of this url with your website's own url this will fetch the last cached version of your site click on view source to see the source code then copy the code reinstall wordpress on your website create a new page and paste the code for bing you can't directly fetch a cached version of your website using a formula so instead you need to search for your web page when it shows up in the bing search engine right next to the url you should see a down arrow click on that arrow then click on the view cached page and repeat the same process as before there's no guarantee that you're going to recover your full site but you might recover a part of it use the wayback machine to restore your wordpress website the wayback machine is the internet's largest archive so there's a very high chance that it took a snapshot of your website and you can use that cached content to restore your website this is especially true if your website is a few years old and gets a lot of traffic so head to this url and once again replace this part of the url with your website's url look for the latest date encircled in green that's a sign that the site was crawled properly now click on the snapshot type and wait for the cached site to load Next, use the Wayback Machine downloader to get a copy of your site emailed to you. Finally, use this backup to restore your site manually. For the database, you'll have to create a new one so that you can create a new user with admin privileges. After that, you can upload your database as well.